All right, welcome to How To Dino. In this video, I will show you how to create a simple verification system. This video is an updated version of my previous simple verification video, but this video will include additional features to further strengthen your verification system. So let's get into the video. Before we begin, we need to ensure that our server is properly set up. To start, click on the server dropdown and then select server settings. Click on roles and then go over to default permissions. Click on the at everyone role and ensure that the view channels permission has been disabled. Once done, click save. Now we need to create our verified role. To do that, click on the plus button, then enter the name of the role. For this example, we're going to use the name verified, but you can use whatever name you'd like. If you already have a verified role or something similar, you can go ahead and skip this step. Once we have our verified role and have selected the desired color, go ahead and save changes. Now let's return to the general chat. With our role created, we now have to create our verified channel. To create our verified channel, click on the server dropdown and select create channel. For this example, I'm gonna name our channel Verify. Then click Create Channel. As you can see, I created a standalone channel, but you can also have your channel built into a category. This is up to a personal preference and how you'd like to structure your server. Now let's go ahead and configure our channel permissions. For the Verify channel, I want new users to be able to see the channel, so I'm gonna enable the View Channel permission because if you remember earlier, we denied this permission in server settings. Next, I'm gonna add the verified role and deny them permissions to view the channel. This is because after the user has been verified, I want to hide this channel afterwards. Now let's head back. Let's configure the category for our general chat. I'm gonna right click on the category and click edit category. We'll go to permissions now all we have to do is add our verified role and allow them to view this channel. Everyone without the verified role will not be able to see this channel. So I need to add an override for verified members to view the channel. So users with the verified role will be able to see this channel. Users without any roles will not be able to see this channel. These channel permissions may also depend on other roles you have in your server. Now let's go back. And now I wanna make sure I sync this channel with the category, which it is. We're gonna go ahead and go back and make sure I do the same with the voice channel. So I right clicked on the category, went over to permissions, and I want to add the verified role and allow them to view these channels. We'll hit save changes, escape, and then we'll check on the voice channel. Go to permissions and it is synced with the category. So we're gonna go back. And now we're gonna go ahead and test out our permissions to make sure everything is working as it should. So I'm gonna go back and click on the server dropdown, server settings. I'll go to roles. I'm going to go to default permissions and select the everyone role. Now I'm gonna go ahead and right click on the role and click view server as role. And as you can see, Users that don't have any roles when joining the server will only have access to the verified channel. Once I receive my verified role, my permissions get changed and I now have access to both general and voice channels. Again, this is just a dummy server, so I only have two categories with one channel in each. But you would go ahead and apply this to however many channels or categories you have in your server. Again, this is all personal preference, so you can choose what to hide, what not to hide. It all comes down to your server needs. All right, so those are the permissions. Now let's go ahead and set up our verification system. All right, so here we are at the Dino website, dino.gg. We wanna go ahead and manage our service. We're gonna click on the manage service button here at the top. Then we're gonna select the server you'd like to manage. We're gonna go to modules and find the custom commands module. Make sure the module is enabled. Now let's go ahead and add our command. For the name, we're gonna name our command verify. Keep in mind you can change this to whatever you'd like, but for the sake of this video and keeping everything simple, we're gonna name this verify. 
If you want, you can go ahead and add a description. You can describe what the command will do. For this case, we're gonna skip this and go ahead and paste our command. So you can copy and paste this from the description. Very short command, so all we're doing is telling Dino that this command can only be used in the verify channel. So if you have a different channel in which you're using this command in, go ahead and change the channel. So only change this half of the channel to whatever your server is using. Same thing for this role part. This is the part that's actually telling Dino what role to give and who to give it to. So here we're telling Dino to assign the role to the user who runs the command and add the verified role to them. If your role name does not match the name here in this field, this command will not work because you do not have a role called verified. For example, if you have a role called member that you'd like to assign instead, you change this out. So delete the verified and insert member. But other than that, this should remain as verified. So those are the simple parts to the command. Once you're done, go ahead and click on add command. If we give this a refresh, we'll see our command here. We can view our command. We can also come back to edit our command, which is what we're going to do later on. So now we'll go ahead and test out the command. All right, so here we are in the server. Ideally, you'd have some type of message in this channel telling new users what to do in order to verify. You might even have the rules posted here or have the rules linked. Either way, you'd have some type of message letting the new user know what to do. So in this case, we know what to do. So we're going to go ahead and test out the command. We're going to go ahead and run verify. As you can see, we are assigned our verified role. The verified channel has disappeared and now we have access to the rest of the server. So that's how the command works. If we go ahead and remove the rule from the user, you can see that the command is still here. So we can still see the user who ran the command and we also can still see the message that Dino sent confirming that the user has received the role. If you would like to clean up this channel, there are some additional options you can enable. But for the basics, this is basically how the verify command works. If this is all you want, you can stop the video here and go ahead and configure a server. If you would like to enable some additional options and even have Dino automatically delete messages that don't belong in this channel, continue to watch because I will cover that in this video. So let's head back over to our dashboard and configure some additional settings to further customize our command. For additional functionality, we can go ahead and edit our command and we can go ahead and enable this delete command option. And what this will do is remove our trigger message. So when we first enter our server and type in the verify command, this option will go ahead and automatically delete that message. And then if we'd like to go further with some additional features, we can enable the silent command option. And this will prevent Dino from sending that confirmation message that we saw in the server earlier. If you would like to keep that confirmation message and rather send it to another channel, go ahead and disable the silent command, go to permissions, and then select a new response channel. For example, if you have a logs channel and you would like to send those confirmation messages to the logs channel, you can go ahead and change the response channel to that logs channel. In this case, the server does not have a logs channel, so we're going to experiment by sending our message to the general channel. Once done, we can go ahead and save the command. And to recap what our options are, we have set Dino to automatically delete our trigger text. We have not enabled the silent command option, although this is an option you can enable. And then we've also set Dino to send that confirmation message to the general channel instead of sending it to the same channel we run the command in. So we're going to hit save. Now we'll switch over to Discord to test it out. All right, so here you are back in Discord. If we go ahead and run our command, we receive our role. And here in general, we can see that the confirmation message has been sent. So instead of sending it in that verified channel, it's been sent to general. And then if we go ahead and remove our 
verified role, we can go ahead and see that our original message posted in the verified channel has been deleted. So those are some additional options. If you'd like to go further and keep users who are just simply chatting in this channel from sending messages, continue on watching because we're gonna cover that next. Okay, so here we are back in our server dashboard to go ahead and prevent users from chatting in our verified channel we have to enable another module and that is the auto delete module. So we'll go ahead and navigate to the auto delete module. Make sure the module is enabled. Here we're gonna add an auto delete channel. So we're gonna select our channel to be the verify channel. We're gonna go ahead and add a filter. We're gonna scroll down and we're gonna select the excludes text filter. For the text field, go ahead and enter question mark verify. If your server uses a different prefix, which is this little symbol before the actual command, go ahead and change the prefix to match your service prefix. Otherwise, keep everything as is. Next, we're going to go ahead and click the add button. We'll give the page a refresh and we have added our verify channel to the auto delete list. So now if we go back and try to chat in that channel, our messages should automatically be deleted. Please keep in mind that mods and administrators are automatically ignored. So those users will be able to chat in that channel, but other users will not be able to chat in that channel. So now we're gonna go ahead and give the system a test. This is with both the custom commands module and the auto delete module all working together. If I go ahead and type messages into this channel, it should automatically be deleted because it does not include the verify command. Once we go ahead and run the verify command, we should automatically get a role. Our original message will be deleted. And as you can see, we have our message sent to the general channel. I have access to the rest of the server and I can no longer see the verify channel. So that is our verification system with all the additional options enabled. Here are some troubleshooting steps if you run into issues while running the command. Issue one, if you get this type of message, I couldn't change the roles for that user. Please check my permissions and role position. This means Dino either does not have the required permissions to give the user the role or Dino's role is not above the verify role. So it can't actually assign that role. To fix this, go into your server dropdown, click on server settings, go to roles. As you can see, Dino is below the verified role. So all I'm gonna do is drag the role right above it. If you want, you can even make it the topmost role in your server just to be safe. I'm also gonna go ahead and, well, first I'm gonna save the changes. And I'm also gonna go ahead and make sure Dino has the administrator permission enabled. This will basically grant Dino all of the server permissions and it shouldn't run into any issues when it comes to permissions. So make sure the administrator permission is enabled and make sure the Dino role is above the verified role at least to make sure the command works properly. Another issue you may run into is Dino may not respond to the command at all. This will only happen if you run the command in a channel that is not named verify. So as you can see, I'm running this command in the general chat. And because we have that require variable, and because we have this require variable, we are not allowed to run this command outside of this verified channel. So if you have a channel that has emojis and or some extra characters, or it's not matching the name exactly, the command will not work. If you want to fix this issue, just go into the command, go ahead and edit it and change the required variable to whatever channel you have set as your verification channel. So if it's rules or something like that, you change this to hashtag rules, or if that doesn't work, you can also try the channel ID. For more information on that, I recommend joining the Dino support server. If you get an error message saying that Dino cannot find the role, for example, that most likely means you haven't created the verified role. So I had to go back and rewatch the video on how to create the verified role. Some other issues you may run into. If you get a message similar to this, no changes were made. This means the user already has a verified role. 
So Dino did not make any changes because they already have the verified role. So those are some of the issues that you may run into. This is usually pretty easy to fix, but if you have any questions, please visit the Dino support server. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe.